marvelous, manifesting, motivational, mindset, momentous, money-making Monday. And again, I'm Dr. Stan Harris, known as Dr. Breakthrough. And I always give a disclaimer, as Dr. Breakthrough, I can't provide the breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. But when people follow the breakthrough prescription, God provides it. And a breakthrough is exploding through barriers that at one time seemed insurmountable. Kind of like that caterpillar is moving slow, right? And thinks I can never get up off the ground. But once it goes through the cocoon, the terrible lonely, seemingly impossible to get out of place, and then emerges after the struggle as a beautiful butterfly flowing freely through the sky. So again, my friend, I'm like your cup of cappuccino for the mind, right? And because one of the things I do in life is I ignite and reignite a passion of people for life, for love, for the Lord, and for business. And so my friend, just for a few moments, I just want to meet with you on this Monday, because remember, if you can conquer your Monday, and by the way, self-discipline is a breakfast, lunch, dinner, and sometimes snack of true champions. So if you can conquer your Monday, my friend, and some days you'll feel like in other days you're like, oh my goodness, but guess what? You just got to conquer it. You got to make it happen. So on this Monday, and I got a couple acronyms for Monday, and of course in November, so we'll give you those, my friend, and then we'll let you go. So Monday, again, is moving optimistically. Moving optimistically negates discouragement and yuckiness, right? So again, on Mondays, you just got to move optimistically, right? You know, optimist, that's the person that says, you know what? I see, like somebody said, the glass is half full. The pessimist says, oh, I see the glass is half empty. Dr. Breakthrough says, yeah, but the glass is refillable, so it doesn't really matter. So again, <clears throat> pardon me, Monday, moving optimistically negates Get this now, discouragement and yuckiness. We all face discouragement. We all face those days where it's like, man, it's so feel like I'm on. But guess what, my friend? You just got to move optimistically knowing. Here's one thing I say every day. Everything good that can happen will happen, and it will happen at the best possible time, even though I may not recognize it at that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And sometimes, you, you know, when they say hindsight is twenty twenty, right? So again, I always say everything good. Again, does everything good happen? Well, it doesn't seem to be good at the moment sometimes. But when I have that attitude, when I speak that, my friend, I'm setting my attention. Get this now. So again, everything good that can happen will happen. And it will happen at the best possible time even though I may not recognize it at that time. So again, you got the acronym for Monday. Again, moving optimistically negates discouragement and yuckiness. And then uh, my favorite acronym for Monday is mindset. And that's what we're talking about today, TGIM times seven. Thank God it's a marvelous manifesting motivational mindset, momentous money making Monday. So mindset offsets negative, just now, negative, excuse me, distractions anticipates yeses. Ooh, 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 you ought to write that one down. Somebody ought to give me a heart. Somebody ought to give me a like, ought to give me a share. Only if you care, something, come on now. I said mindset. See, it's something about that mindset. And mindset offsets negative distractions and anticipates yeses. By the way, in business, in life, you ought to anticipate yeses. And by the way, you need to learn to be a yes man, Y-E-S. You need to learn to be a yes woman, Y-E-S. Why? Y-E-S, you expect success. Yes, Y-E-S, you anticipate, excuse me, you um, expect success. You embody success, Y-E-S. You expedite success. So so you got to get those yeses out there, okay? Now, real quick, um, one of the things that, again, it's all about your, your, your attitude and your mindset. It's been said over and over again. It's your attitude, not your aptitude that determines your altitude. So how high you go in life is based on your attitude, my friend. And so the way we cultivate a good attitude is what gratitude. What, do you, what could you be grateful for today? Even though it's a Monday, right? Well, one thing, you can be grateful that you're alive. Hey, as of today, get this now. Let me see. As of today, it's my 23,000. And one, so 23,000 and one, our first day on God's wake up list. Imagine that 23,001 times in a row I've been on God's wake up list. And I always say my incredible mother was only on God's wake up list for 18,065 days. 
and then she didn't, she didn't wake up. And so, so listen, my friend, so I'm grateful. Also, as of today, I've had 400, get this now, 459 million 600,000 free breaths. Wow, 459 million 600,000. I got something to be thankful for, right? See, instead of focusing on what's not right, what's not the way I want it, what's not, I'm not, the, no, no, we can focus on the fact, listen, my friend, listen, we can focus on the fact. I can also focus on the fact that, hey, you know, we just had Veterans Day, right? I got two sons that, that served in armed forces. I got family members, a brother that retired. I, 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 I mean, listen, my friend, incredible day that we have our freedoms because veterans risked their lives. Some gave, um, of course, Memorial Days for those who passed on, but I like to say even on Veteran Day, Veterans Day, some gave all and all gave some. So if you're a veteran, thank you. We appreciate your service. And, um, and yeah, I understand, you know, listen, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. So I want to thank you because I believe if you're not grateful, you'll end up being a great fool. Ooh, come on now. See, 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 gratitude is two words. I always say great plus attitude, put them together. It's gratitude. And so I'm going to express, express, express gratitude. So for November, uh, again, nose open valuable. Here's my acronym for November. Nose open valuable empowering moments, breakthroughs, encouragement, and renewal. That's the month of November, the acronym. Again, nose open valuable empowering moments, breakthroughs, encouragement, and renewal. Now you do know, and I've said it again, no in, in November, November is the only month that has the word no in it, okay? And so every single month uh, is, is different, this month specifically. So you got to learn to say no to the lower things and no to the lower people so you can say yes to the higher things. So, so I wrote this, again, I'm creating a noteworthy November. And if you look on my page here, uh, the either the first or second, uh, no, maybe it was the third. But anyway, you know, I, I put set the music and all that, and it's nice and pretty and pictures and all that kind of stuff, okay? So here it goes, but I'm making my, I'm creating a noteworthy. See, again, you gotta understand one thing, and I love this, and that is the master creator made you and I many creators, and then he gave us a mandate and method to create. Ooh, come on, somebody. The master creator made you and I many creators, and then he gave us a mandate and methods to create right? The mandate to create, but then also methods. And that method of creation is, is through imagination. Come on now. And a lot of people have lost their imagination because they don't spend time just thinking. They don't spend time. You know, we used to list, listen to stuff and imagine stuff. And now everything, all these pictures, everything's in front of you. You don't have to imagine. Well, that's hindering. We used to read books, right? We used to, we used to, we used to read books all the time. And, and now everybody just watches videos and, and it takes, well, no, 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 no. Leaders still are readers. But anyway, let me real quick get into this. This is supposed to be encouraging, right? Okay, so November, again, the only month that has no in it as well as starts with no. So I'm committed to saying no to the lower things and lower people so I can be empowered to say yes to the higher things and the higher people. When I say lower people, what do I mean? I mean those haters, come on now, H-A-T-E-R-S, having animosity toward everyone reaching success. You know, like the crabs in the bucket, they say one crab tries to get out, the other crabs pull them back. Those are lower people. People, now everybody's, uh, uh, again, in the eyes of God, everybody's the same, my friend, but no, 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 you're a lower type person if you keep trying to bring me low, hello, somebody, and for this month especially, say no to those people and say yes to the people trying to lift you up, yes to the people that want to encourage you, yes to the people that want to mentor you, yes to the people who want to coach you, come on now. See, the quantity, oh, this is good, the quantity of my no's this month will determine the quality of my yeses and my success this month. Who wants to have more success? Come on now. See, I'm committed to saying no to procrastination so I can say yes to immediate massive action. Ooh, that's good. Anybody else out there willing to say no to procrastination? Which, by the way, procrastination, the last part of the word procrastination is the word nation. Uh, listen, procrastination, the largest nation of failures in the world are those who procrastinate. Procrastination leads to devastation. 
Procrastination is the assassination of your destination. Thus, you must act now. <laughs> Come on now. See, I'm creating. I, see, the master creator made me a mini creator. He gave me a mandate and methods to create. So I am creating, get this now, a noteworthy November because I'm committed to saying no to my limiting beliefs so I can say yes to my limitless success. See, I'm committed to saying no to my fear so I can say yes to my faith. And my acronym for faith, by the way, is fully anticipating it to happen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Somebody write that down. Faith, fully anticipating it to happen. By the way, fear, former experiences affecting reality. Ooh, fear, forgetting everything's all right. Okay, I got to go. All right, hey, I'm creating again. I get to create. I'm a creator. Remember, remember the master. If you don't get anything else, you're going to remember this. The master creator made me a mini creator. He gave me a mandate and methods to create. And so I'm creating a noteworthy November because I'm committed to saying no to playing the blame game. Come on now. So I can say yes and participate in the breakthrough game. <laughs> Come on, somebody talk to me up in here. Who like me is willing to say no to the blame game? By the way, every time I play the blame game, I've lost. But every time I play the change game, come on, somebody, I win. <laughs> Every time I get involved in the breakthrough game, come on, something happens. Hey, I'm creating a noteworthy November because I'm committed to saying no to playing small so I can say yes to thinking bigger, believing bigger, and taking bigger, better, and bolder action. By the way, I'm committed to saying no to my comfort zone so I can say yes to the breakthrough zone. Hey, how many of y'all know that the comfort zone is comfortable, but there's no breakthroughs there, <laughs> right? Your breakthrough's on the other side of your comfort zone. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Give me a heart. Give me a like. Give me a share if you care. I'm about to close this thing down here in a couple minutes. Now, I'm committed to saying no to my excuses so I can say yes to expectation and execution. See, excuses are the currency with which I buy failure, and execution is the currency I will use to buy success. Ooh, did you get that? I think I ought to say that again. I said excuses are the currency with which I buy failure. Execution is the currency I will buy use to buy success. I'm making my, I'm creating a noteworthy November. Remember, the master creator made me a mini creator. He gave me a mandate and methods to create. So I'm committed to saying no to my doubts. And I, in essence, will doubt my doubts so I can say yes to my beliefs that I believe. If the, the acronym for the word believe, B-E-L-I-E-F-E, -E -E, or, or V-E, excuse me, <laughs> believe. Because... Emmanuel lives, I expect victory every day. Hey, let me say it even better. Because Emmanuel lives, I experience victory every day. See, it only takes one person, one decision or one action to change my life forever. I am that person. I have decided and I will take action. Hey, what about you? You see, I'm creating a notable November because the master creator made me a mini creator, a mini creator. He gave me a mandate and methods to create. And so, my friend, I will do the things I need to do when I feel like it. When I don't feel like it, I'll just keep doing them until I do feel like it. I'm making my November noteworthy because it's, if it's going to be, it's up to God and me. I said, if it's going to be, it's up to God and me. So I'll pray, I'll trust and believe like it all depends on him, but I will work, speak and implement like it all depends on me. Come on, somebody, because it depends on the both of us. Now, I believe and shall receive by the end of November or sooner. And I believe this and my friend, I claim it in the name above every name the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. All right. So, hey, God bless you. I hope you had some, again, some few thoughts, some things that can stir you up, my friend, to have this cup of cappuccino, the energy drink they call me for the mind for, and for your spirit. And so make today a marvelous Monday on purpose, my friend, and by divine design. And you tell them Dr. Breakthrough said so. I'm the doctor. I ought to know. I prescribe. T-G-I-M times seven. Thank God. It's a marvelous manifesting 
motivational, mindset, momentous, money-making Monday.